Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about Coinbase and Crypto.com. And more specifically, I'm going to try to answer a question that I've gotten a lot lately. And that is, how do you send Bitcoin from your Coinbase account into your Crypto.com account? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off, guys, it's going to be a really quick video. There's not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video. But why would you want to transfer Bitcoin from your Coinbase account into your Crypto.com account? Well, that's pretty easy. Coinbase makes it easy to buy and sell many cryptocurrencies, but they don't have the same inventory that Crypto.com com has. So many people want to go ahead and transfer Bitcoin from Coinbase into crypto.com and that way you can use it to purchase other altcoins. Whatever the case is, is a pretty easy process. It's all handled in these two apps right here. Check my video description. I'll try to leave the written instructions there as well, but I'm going to go ahead and start here in my crypto.com app since we're transferring Bitcoin from Coinbase into crypto.com. So I'm going to open the app now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up my crypto.com app. This is the home screen here. Here on the home screen, you're going to see a brief snippet about your crypto.com account. But if if you'd like to transfer Bitcoin from Coinbase into your Crypto.com account, you want to start here at this button called Transfer here on the top kind of right. Once you click there, you're going to get two options, deposit or withdraw. We will be depositing Bitcoin from our Coinbase account into our Crypto.com account. So we're going to click on deposit here on the left. Next, you're going to get two options, crypto or fiat. Today, we are working in Bitcoin crypto. So we'll click on crypto. Next, you get a long list of different cryptocurrencies that Crypto.com handles. So today we are working with BTC Bitcoin. Make sure you choose Choose the correct type of cryptocurrency because if you send it to the wrong type of wallet, the cryptocurrency could be lost forever. So I'm going to click right here on BTC. Okay, guys, I went ahead and clicked there. Next, you're going to see the QR code for your BTC Bitcoin wallet address inside crypto.com. You can scan this with your Coinbase account, but if you're like me, you just have one phone, so it's not really possible to scan with the same phone that you're taking a picture of. So what I'll normally do is just click right here on these two little paper sheets. Once you click there, it lets you know that the Bitcoin wallet address has been copied from your crypto.com account. So now we're finished in the crypto.com account, we can switch over to the Coinbase account. Okay, guys, I'm going to open up my Coinbase account. It's this blue and white C right here. Okay, guys, I went ahead and clicked there and my Coinbase account is now open and you're going to see a brief snippet about your Coinbase account. But in order to send Bitcoin from your Coinbase account into your crypto.com account, you want to click right here on this button called send. It's an upward looking arrow. Next, you're going to get the send account. What you want to do is make sure that you switch over to the correct type of cryptocurrency. As you can see, by default, mine went to Decentraland. So let me click here and change the wallet. Okay, once you click there, then you're going to get a drop down of all of the cryptocurrency that you currently hold in Coinbase. So today we are transferring Bitcoin BTC. So I'm going to click on this wallet here. Okay. Now you can see we are back in the send section and it is now my Bitcoin wallet. Next, you want to choose how much Bitcoin you would like to send to your crypto.com account from your Coinbase account. Let me go ahead and just click on $5. Many times there's a minimum that you can send. But let me go ahead and click on this continue button down here on the bottom and see if it accepts $5. Okay. It looks like it does accept that minimum amount. So what you want to do here on this blue line is go ahead and just paste in the wallet address that we got from crypto.com. I'm going to paste it in now. Okay. I went ahead and pasted in my crypto.com wallet address for Bitcoin right here. Once you've done that, go ahead and click on this blue preview send button. Okay. Next you get this confirmation screen. I'm sending $5 worth of Bitcoin. It looks like Coinbase fee is zero. The network fee is going to be this amount. So the total amount is going to be about $5 and 10 cents. If that looks okay to you, go ahead and click on this blue send now button. Okay. Next, since we are transferring Bitcoin from our Coinbase account, into our crypto.com account. Coinbase does ask for the two-factor authentication code to be entered in and verified. So I'm going to switch over to my Google Authenticator. That's the one that I used. If you used a different one, be sure to go to that particular app. Okay, guys, I went ahead and opened up my Google Authenticator app. As you can see, my Coinbase two-factor authentication code is here. So I'm going to copy that and then enter it into my Coinbase account. Okay, I pasted the code in. I'm going to click submit. Next, I get this confirmation screen saying I successfully sent $5 worth of Bitcoin. They do let you know the transaction can take about 30 minutes. So I'm going to click on done. Okay. And it just brings you back here to the home screen. Now, just so you know, the email address associated with your Coinbase account, you will receive an email confirmation of this. So there you have it, guys. If you're looking for information on how to transfer Bitcoin from your Coinbase account into your crypto.com account, that's the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.